Hello and welcome, 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 welcome everybody, welcome, 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 making sure everything's working correctly, sorry for that little small delay, I'm currently adjusting my microphone so it's not too loud for you guys, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing all kinds of noises to make sure that the microphone doesn't peak too high, just making sure microphone doesn't peak too high, does that seem okay? It looks like it's doing pretty good. It's not peaking too much. Mm, let's see. Stream good. The color looks great. Uh, looks a little laggy, doesn't it? But actually, the quality looks like shit. Um, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Check some things out. Oh, okay, I see. Ah, uh, because the quality is okay. For those of you that are having uh, bad quality on your stream, your video, make sure you change it to either 720p or 480p or 1080p, whichever you like. It is running on 60 frames per second. Um, I do apologize if anything is wrong. Please, if anything's wrong, please say something in the text below or on the side. All right, so let's get into this and I'm hoping everything's working pretty well. The latency seems pretty slow. Yeah, the latency is about 10 seconds off. So what I'm going to end up doing is I am Okay, so what I'm going to do now is whoops, didn't want to do that. Okay, so everything seems to be running smooth for now. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what I originally had before. Let's see. All right, so let's start with all the weapons that I have now. Of course, I got the Master Sword, which is going to be the max powered Master, master Sword. I got the Royal Claymore with the uh, Long Throw. Then I got the Royal Guard, uh, 72 hit, durability up. Same thing with uh, Royal Guard. Claymore, this one's a 98 attack up plus 26. And the Dragon Bone Moblin Club, which is a 65 with an attack of 20, 20 plus. And then I, of course, I got the little Lightning Rod, the Royal Broad Sword, and then another um, Dragon Bone Moblin Club, and of course another uh, Throwing Sword or Throwing Sword, Royal Broad Sword with a long throw to him. And then I had the Ancient Battle Axe with uh, durability up, and then of course another Broad Sword. I like the ball swords because they're pretty strong and they're not claymores. Um, claymores do hit pretty hard, but their durability sucks hard. Uh, Tishy and um, eh, it, I mean it kind of sucks somewhat. Not really, can't say. Uh, I've never really used it myself. Uh, Royal claymores, actually I have, but not a lot. So then I got the uh, Royal Guard bows with the quick shot uh, durability up with another Royal Bow. And then I got the Royal Bow with the 53 with the 15 up. And then I got the Savage Lionel Bow. And of course I got uh, another one right here. Let me show you what the, uh, of course, the shields. You guys already know what these are. And then the armor. I had the old shirt. Um, Hellion trousers. Hellion trousers. Hylian trousers. And then you got the Champion's tunic. And then Hylian hood. And then Hylian... Uh, tunic uh, then you got the the trousers the Hallian trousers it's another one I got somehow the amber earrings warm doublet ruby circlet and then you've got the desert vol headband sapphire circlet and then snow quill trousers snow quill tunic and then snow quill headdress headrest desert vol spalder uh, desert vol trousers grudu veil and grudu top and then grudu swirl and then I got Topaz earrings, uh, flame breaker helm, armor, 
and boots. These are all the same flame breaker set. And then you got the self chest guard, mask, and sword greaves, Zor armor, Zor helm, and then the self tights, and then the sheik's mask, thunder helm, barbarian helm, barbarian armor, and the barbarian leg wraps with the fierce deity um, mask deity armor and boots and then the radiant mask which is going to be the uh the wrestling the the wrestler um uniform and then the wrestler shirt and the tights then you got the diamond circlet the snow boots uh cap of time and trousers of time cap of the wind uh, i don't know why they gave me twice tunic of the wind tunic of the wind and then trousers of the wind um, Trouser of Twilight, Cap of the Sky, Tunic of the Sky, and Trouser of the Sky, Cap of the Hero, Trouser of the Hero, Korok Mask, and then um, the Majoris Mask, and then of course you got Tingle's Hood, Shirt, and Tights with the Midnus Helmet, Phantom Helmet, and then the uh, other uh, armor set for Phantom. And then you got the Island Lobster Shirt, Ravio's Hood, Zant helmet, and then you got the all three, um, all four divine beasts. Uh, actually, I was supposed to have four, but I never got it for some reason. So you got one, two, and three, and then you got the phantom greaves, phantom Ganon armor, and the phantom Ganon skull with the dark hood, um, tunic, and trousers, and rubber helm. I've never got that. I don't know why I've never got it. And the other items that I have that uh, just to show you guys what I had. I had the, of course, Sheikah Slate, Spirit Orbs, Korok Seeds, Paraglider, of course, so this is all normal. And then I got the Extravagant Brittle. Uh, basically, that's for the um, the horses. Um, the horse for Zelda. It's a pure white horse. It's on a specific hill. just makes um, the Zelda's horse a little more elegant. And then you got the Travel Medallion, which, of course, allows you to travel to a specific spot. So, for example, I wanted to go to, say, Gerudo Valley. And I wanted to um, teleport right in front of the um, the descendant of uh, the sh I can't remember her name the little tiny uh, Chibi um, she's like the queen of Gerudo Valley or whatever uh, say I wanted to d uh, travel there but I also want to go to Zoro's domain if I went to Zoro's domain and then I'm like oh, I don't want to hurry up and travel I want to travel I don't want to get to a shrine and then get to uh, walk into the shrine or walk from the shrine into the village and then all the way up I could just teleport right in front of her if I wanted to and then I've got of course the uh, Daruk's per protection Mifa's grace Ubro Ubros Ubrosa's fury and Rivali's gale and then you got the monster saddle which is I haven't used it personally yet and I thought it was for that really large size horse but it wasn't the it wasn't for him I guess it's just for any horse <clears throat> And uh, this is what I currently have on, which is, by the way, my favorite mask. If you don't, you don't think that mask is pretty cool, I think it's pretty awesome. All right, so it kind of sucks that I'm gonna start all over, but it's okay. All right, so let's do this all over from the very beginning, and let's do master mode. I've never got into master mode myself. Um, <laughs> I've never really got into master mode. Um, supposedly, master mode is really hard. New enemies, uh, enemies heal. You know, honestly, I think that's better for them to heal. But um, let's just go through the presentation because I can't skip it. I don't think I can. No, it won't let me. Yeah, so. Uh, if you don't want to see any of this, just come back in like about two or three minutes. And if not, if you want to go ahead and watch it over, that's up to you. Be right back. By the way, guys, it's in Japanese dub. If For those of you that don't like the Japanese dub, let me know and I'll switch over to English. But I like Japanese dub acting better in this game than I do the English. 
目を覚ましてリンク All right, so I am back. Um, I was noticing that there was a lot of echoes inside the game, and and the reason why there was echoes because I have it in surround sound mode. So let's change it from surround sound to uh, just straight up TV sound. Uh, let's go to just stereo. All right. Actually, the, a lot of the ambient sound already changed. It's crazy. You guys have no idea how much I love the Zelda series. It's so fun. Seeker Stone. Nagaki ne muri kara sameta anata o michibiku desho. How you guys doing, by the way? I'm doing great. Never done a live stream before, but hey, you know what? I'm gonna do it now. See what happens, and I'll just keep doing the rest. And I keep playing the game and keep playing it. By the way, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do little little tips and tricks and stuff like that. Some glitches in the game, so that way you guys could. Um, I guess the Korok is not gonna be there until I find the Korok Master. Um, like how to do some of the glitches for those of you who are barely starting to play this game. <laughs> kind of bad when he does that. Um, I don't think they ever have anything in the beginning of this game. Alright, let's not run around with our chonies. Oh. I forgot that I don't have all my stamina wheels. I've, I guess you could say I cheated, but I still did the glitches and I had all my stamina wheels and all my hearts. This is gonna suck so bad because I gotta do it all over again. And it took me such a long time to do it. Well, not the, uh,. What took me a while to do is the uh, Ruby's glitch. I'll show you guys how to do that too. Do you guys think I should... Uh, you think I should uh, brighten my face a little bit? Because I could. I'll probably end up buying the ring. Remember, remember, guys, if you're starting to hear noises or, like, um, the audio quality is too low or the um, the stream is bad or whatever, <laughs> let me know. I have it at low latency and not ultra low latency. I don't have very fast internet. So it's kind of 20 megs a second, so I have it about 3,000 right now. Um, I'm not that uh, much of a good... Zelda player, but I started on Ocarina of Time, and I'm telling you this right now, guys. <laughs> that is my favorite game of all time. If only uh, us uh, Zelda lovers, it doesn't matter if you just started Breath of the Wild, Skyward Sword, Wind Waker, or um, 
four seasons. Excuse me, I gotta sneeze. Hold on. Okay, I, sorry. Um, it doesn't matter if you just started in any of the Zelda series and Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild is your second. I I will. Uh, I would like for a lot of us to band together and try somehow, some way to petition them to remake Ocarina of Time and then Majora's Mask or just remake it in today's current technology and make make Ocarina of Time what it's supposed to be because if Ocarina of Time was made now with the current technology, you know how huge Ocarina of Time would be? It would be massive in size. The game would be so cool, so much detail into it, so much things you could do, uh, things that they didn't implement in the Nintendo 64 uh, version of Ocarina of Time. If they did it for the Switch, everything would be so, so awesome. Alright, oh, and by the way, I'm just using a, a basic bitch controller. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to farm off the land really quick. Okay, I have no idea what I'm getting to. The only thing is... The only thing I know about is that there's going to be a lino on this platform. And I think it's going to be a silver or gold lino. That's going to suck if I come across him, but whatever. Probably fight him with twigs. <laughs> that would suck. That would take a long time. I'm pretty sure pretty long. Get some fungus, some crack for the system. You know, I never knew what this rock was for. I think it's for, um, maybe there's like a beast down there, one of those large sized creatures. Uh, Link. 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 Stone no map ni Alright, so for those of you who just uh, entered the the, uh, the live stream, um, basically, Ooh. as a weapon, mm. yeah, I'm going to skip you, I don't want to read your shit. Mm. Oops, mm. sorry. Let's <laughs> Alright, so uh, for those of you who are joining in, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some glitches in this game. And some of you that probably haven't played this game before, um, I'm going to try to do it in uh -huh. order as much as I possibly can. So the areas that I visit, I'm going to try to do those shrines uh -huh. in that area. And then I'm going to, um, like, I won't specifically really go for the shrines, but if it's in the area, I'll go for it. Sure, why not? Um, I can show you how to, um, of course, I, hmm. as I said, um, how to do some glitches. I'll show you how to get a lot of rupees. Probably like 20,000 rupees in one go. Probably even more, maybe 30,000. How to get your house super fast. How to upgrade it really fast. Uh, where to get some weapons. Let's see. <clears throat> some tips and tricks. How to play this game. Recipes and all that. I gotta cipher off the land first. And I need to... Uh, get some fruit because this is going to be my savior when it comes to me fighting creatures. And while we're at it, as I'm cutting wood, I'm, what I'm going to be doing is I am... I'm going to be cutting wood uh, for the reason because when we get to Terrytown, if we get to Terrytown, I am going to need a cheese load of wood. Alright, so uh, tip number one, never, never use your axe for a weapon unless you really need to. If you really need to. The uh, reason why I said not to use it. Because uh, you're only one horn. Wow, that's crazy. 
your axe is mainly used for, of course, you can fight people with it or monsters with it, but it's mainly for cutting down wood. All your weapons have specific. All your weapons have specific um, properties for it. And sorry if my if you keep seeing my camera moving up. There's there's dust inside, and it's kind of hard to get that dust. And sometimes you'll see it do this. It'll just move on its own. I hate it. I hate when it does that. Uh, I've tried dusting it out. Nothing. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's not too far away from me. Alright. Uh, that was your tip number one for... Um, I'm sorry, I keep saying um for some reason. That was tip number one for your weapons part. Also, remember, don't, don't forget to start getting hurl herbs apples vegetables all that because you need to survive and it went in master mode it's kind of i as i said i've never played with master mode before oh i got a cricket in the process sweet uh i never played master mode before so it's gonna probably be a little bit difficult for me because i've it's new I usually like a challenge on a lot of games. As I said, Zelda is kind of difficult, but not really difficult in its own way. Oops, let me do that. Yeah, so get everything you possibly can. Pick it all up. Um, get as amount of the best amount of weapons you can possibly can. Um, one way, of course, I was even about to tell you is if you want to kill somebody uh, possibly in one hit, you got to sneak up on them. But since there's one Bobblekin right in front of his friend, no! Oh shit! Yeah. Eat my butt. Alright. Um, I noticed that the game is kind of. The latency is not very good on this. It's not very good. I, I'm going to try an ultra low latency on the next stream. And by the way, I'm going to be trying to doing... I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to at least provide a one to two hour stream today. And then the next day about an hour. I just want to get the introduction, all of that, out of the way for Breath of the Wild and myself. By the, by the way, my name is Panchito and I have a YouTube channel. Of course, I play games. I also see this is how you do a stealth kill. You get behind him, you go as slow as you possibly can without alerting him. And you hit Y for sneak strike and you kill him in one shot. Now I got a Bako Bako shield and and I am going to have a traveler sword, which is a little bit stronger versus the Ooh, and I got arrows too. It's stronger versus the Bubblekin uh, weapon that I have. Okay. Oh, this is the the guard tower that I have to be on. Okay. I'm gonna be key. I'm gonna be repeating myself a couple of times just to let you guys know that I um, what I'm gonna be doing in this stream. Uh, for those of you who are just joining, even though I have one current concurrent viewer, which I probably don't have any viewers right now, that's probably a robot or whatever. But anyways, I'm gonna be talking about glitches, some tips, some tricks, whatever I know in specific in in general, uh, what you can do to uh, fight specific monsters and so on. 
required to go get your food, uh, what kind of food you need to get, how to get a lot of money. You know, I never see, I never really saw this scene before. Because the first time I played it, I had to pee, so I ran, so I let it happen. <laughs> it's just funny how that, just, it's weird. And then the, uh, my niece wanted to play it. And so she was playing because I told her you could, if you want to have this switch, I'll give you the switch, but you have to beat the game. You don't necessarily have to do everything in the game, but just beat it, but take your time while doing it. And I gave them a whole summer, four months to beat this game. They couldn't do it. Uh, I mean, they could if they wanted to, really wanted to try, but they didn't really try. They gave up. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be showing you tips and tricks, um, where to find specific foods, if I remember, uh, what kind of weapons you should get, uh, showing you the um, things I could spawn in with the, the, uh, with the um, amiibos. I gotta turn off my cell phone uh, light because I had the light on. I actually had the light on earlier in my little desk that's in front of where my camera's at so they can shine light on me, but my phone is already at 13%, so I didn't want to keep using it. Also remember, this is um, Japanese dub, it's not English dub. I like Japanese dub in a lot of anime, versus I do in English, because they have a lot of them have really good voice acting, and I love that shit. Only one that I love that that I like in English is Inuyasha. Great voice acting. But as I said, most Japanese animes have really good voice acting. I do not like uh, the, I like Zelda's voice in this, but I don't like the acting for English dub. You know, I never beat this game before. I got to the castle, beat a Lionel, went into the tunnels, and when it went into like one specific tunnel way on the bottom, and I'm thinking about it now. I've never saved Zelda, and it irritates me because I'm starting from the beginning. But I wanted to try something new, and I need to do something different for my channel, and I want to. Um, I want to just try it out, you know, see how it goes for like a month or two, depending how long it's gonna take. Oh shit! Oh. That almost scared me. Okay. Um. I almost shat my pants for a moment. That's so killing the music. Oh, ho, ho, Santa? Close enough. <laughs> my, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. Ho, ho, ho. This tower is just other just like have erupted across the land one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has woken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop of that tower? I heard a voice, Senpai. Well, now, a voice, you say? And do that? Uh, did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No, Senpai. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. <laughs> I assume you caught the sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. Mm. Yes. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, the vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength. For the moment, it will unleash the blight upon the land once again. It would appear the moment is fast approaching. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Let me continue my story. Hmm. I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. 
Oh, oh, I had a feeling oh. you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded all on all sides of the steep cliffs with no way down. If you were trying to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or f more foolish. Ah. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. certainly. Why not? But there is no such no such thing as free item in this world, you know. Mm. Let's see now. Hmm. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Let me think about it, senpai. Oh. Come, let me show you something. Uh, depending what you want to show me. No, senpai. I, I don't want to show... No, senpai. I am too nervous. Yeah. Hmm. You do see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light. It began glowing the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. Oh, I would think oh, oh. such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for a paraglider, a fair exchange, I believe. Okay. Bye. I was about to jump off right now with the paraglider. Okay, so... Tip number two, if you want to get little creatures like this one that's right in front of me, you have to walk up really slow or have um, level two stealth uh, clothing. And the reason why I say that, all stealth clothing, all of it, head, chest, and legs. And the reason why I say that is because the more, the more it's upgraded, the less they can hear you so your your steps are a lot quieter and then if you have the second uh, level or um, upgraded version of the first uh, version of those self trousers and not trousers self uh, pants and sh uh, leggings and the head whatever they call it the armor whatever <clears throat> you get to run uh, really fast at night so he links runs across really fast instead of his normal run speed. I've never got to the third. I th if, if I did, I don't remember if I did or not. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna show you where to get some, some armors. I'm gonna show you where to get some arrows, uh, some bomb arrows, uh, how, to, how to do specific shrines, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come across shrines that I've never done before, because I've probably done in both of my gameplays from in the past. Um... Probably maybe 40, 30 shrines at most. I'm not too sure. I can't, couldn't really tell you. I never, I never really kept up with the uh, the amount of that I did. So we have uh, two options here. We can just run guns blazing, meaning that we can just run in there really quick and start killing people, or we can just do it a silent kill and get rid of this guy because this guy is the the alarmer. <coughs> What I mean by that is that uh, he'll call his buddies. It's not a Boku bow. Yes, awesome. Sweet. Um, let's see. Can we do anything else here? No, there's no fire around here, so there's no way for me to burn them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to Oops. See that's the thing I hit. What I don't like is that my thing moves on its own. And it does this a lot. I hate it. And it doesn't let me focus, especially... Especially... Uh, 
um, when I'm aiming. See, it does this a lot. I really can't stand it. Okay, so if you see shield, uh, if you see any kind of wooden items on the floor, pick it up right away and put it away. Uh, and if if you don't have, okay, if you don't have the a weapon in your hand and it, it probably already went into, of course, it went into your inventory. The shield would probably be me, maybe, I'm not too sure, still on fire. I can't say for sure. I've never paid attention to that. Um, you just want to put your bat, uh, um, your uh, wooden item, whatever you want to uh, take out, uh, get rid of the fire because otherwise you will destroy the, the, uh, either the shield, either the shield or the weapon itself. Okay, so one thing you can do if you want to get into boxes like this, you can you can beat it up a few times until it breaks, but that's only something that's really heavy and durable. For example, like a woodcutter's axe, you could use this, and you'll get items from it. Um, you, it's, that's mainly what you could use it for, or you could use bombs when you get them. Arrows and apples and acorns and so on like uh acorns is one one pretty rare but not too rare if you find a squirrel kill it from a far distance the reason why i say kill it is because you can use acorns in a few recipes that are pretty beneficial for link for him to have early on in the game so you can make like a pie or something with with the flavor of nutty nutty flavor to it so you could, you know, just give him something different to eat. Although, they don't have that implementation when it comes to... Oh yeah, I'm tired of eating the same steak or some whatever. Okay, so for these guys, in order to forget, for you to get this treasure chest here, you have to kill the dudes that are surrounding in that area. Yep. And usually these have pretty good weapons. See, I got a, a, a traveler sword, which is a, a 5. And the one in my inventory is a 5 too, so that means that I have decent weapons for now and it's not some crappy weapons. And see, like like this right here, a Bobco uh, Bob 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 or whatever, I... Yeah, I'm just gonna move on from that subject. Okay, so there's nothing else here. I gotta go around because I don't remember if I can survive that swim. So I'm not gonna even uh, I'm not gonna even test it. Um, if you guys are trying to tell me anything in the chat, it's telling me right now. Unable to connect to chat. Please try again later. I do apologize if you're trying to tell me something, but go ahead and still, if you can, send me a message. That'd be great. Um, if you like the stream, how, the quality, how good it looks, um, do you like the, do you like how good it looks, do you do, is the sound good, is my voice too loud, is the audio too loud, um, is the stream a little laggy, does it look like crap, let me know so I can improve the way I stream and I can tell myself into the future. This is how it works and this is how the people who are watching was giving me advice, hints and so on how to um, how to have a better stream. Okay, so you see these fishes in the water. So if, if you want to get the fishes, there's a few ways you can get them. You can toss the bomb into the water and kill them. That's one way. Or you can do a lightning arrow. I'm not too sure how rare it's going to be in master mode. But you're teasing me, holy shit. Um, so you taught you pull of course you select your lightning arrows and you um, let it go into the water and it shocks everything in that moment uh, what you can also do is this uh, fast swim fast swim to these little guys uh, sometimes they jump out of the water sometimes they don't you also need to check your stamina wheel see how I already used half of my stamina wheel that basically when it runs out and you're in water doesn't matter how high it is as long as you're floating you will drown and when you drown you might have to start all over from whatever last point you were before it auto saved all right uh oh they're giving me an oh come on 
Come on. Whatever. Hey, that reminds me. Can I... Adventure log. Oh, oh, I guess it's after... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was thinking, wait a minute, where's my DLC stuff? But I forgot. When you jump, when you land on the Great Plateau, Plateau, whatever, banana, when you land there, it starts revealing all that stuff. So you gotta, you gotta be... The Plateau that you're on right now, the Great Plateau, you have to finish that first in order to uh, get access to... Um, to all that other stuff but give me a minute i gotta use the restroom so be right back Okay guys, I am back. I had to use the restroom real quick. So let me set myself up because I have to take my headphones off and I make sure everything's working good. I don't like how my camera's positioned. I might have moved it by accident. Nope, still not. Oh, that's good enough. Alright. Alright, so let's get into this gameplay. Not try to pull any cords either because I don't want pulling any cords. All right, so we are in the very first shrine. This is basically to get the I think the magnesis. I don't remember if it's the magnesis or not. So, Magnesis is basically a magnetic uh, rune that allows you to pick up magnetic parts. So, in order for you to use your Magnesis, you're going to have to use this button that's right here right on top, which is going to be the up arrow on the, on the, on the left side of the uh, controller. You just hold up and you're able to select different kind of runes. And these basically, these runes allow you to have special um, access to certain um, skills that you could use throughout the game and this one is going to be called magnesis so what that is is of course you could use um, that power or skill to pick up large heavy metallic objects 
off the ground for example if you want to use it you're gonna of course you're gonna have to hit this button right on top so you hit that button and then you hit A to activate and you just pick it up from the floor with your uh, Joy-Con controller and then you just let it go with, you with B that's one part of it and we're gonna get two more after this also shows you that also shows you um, it shows you it shows you what objects are metallic and what objects are not yeah I feel like I'm a kid again I'm, uh, I'm over. you can also use these things as a weapon Or I could have launched it way high up into the air and just, you know, basically killed them that way. But that's it. Damn, only one screw for this. That is so crazy. In every single shrine, well, not every single one of them, because I've come across shrines that didn't have a chest in it. I don't think this one's going to have a chest in it either. They usually have some kind of chest that they'll usually, some kind of gem or... Uh, a rupee, like a high a rupee, that's um, pretty. Shut up. Uh, pretty ex um, valuable. It, see, there it is. Meaning that it could be a hundred rupees, three hundred rupees, and in this game, it's kind of rare to have. Ooh, noise. It's kind of rare to have rupees unless you're killing like enemies that have them from the... Oh, what is that clan called? I can't remember that clan. There's a clan where they... Uh, they're the Grudu clan. Not the Grudu. Um, the Impa clan or whatever they call them. Those clan. Those people. They... I won't get into too much of it because a lot of people have not played this already. So uh, when we get to that point, then I'll show you. But they, when usually, it, they, they don't die, but they just get defeated and disappear because they have um, ninja skills kind of style. So when you defeat them, they have sometimes pretty good weapons. Uh, I rarely get the dude with the long, long katana. It's, it, it slices like wind, like wind or like energy beam. Kind of like the deity, the deity oh, character oh, from... Uh, Majora's Mask. Um, there's also there's another one that just jumps in the air and just shoots arrows at you and laughs at you. But when you defeat them, they usually drop like anywhere between thirty to forty rupees, and the rupees are different colors. Green is one rupee, uh, red is five. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, blue is five, red is twenty. 50, I can't remember what 50 is. 100 is Ooh. silver, and gold, I think it's gold, is, ah. um, three, uh, gold is 300 rupees. I don't even know if this is the same thing. But I'm gonna skip all this. Um, if you guys want me to read it in the future, like what the voice acting I was doing earlier, I know it's shitty, but whatever. Uh, the voice acting I was doing earlier, let me know in the uh, comments below after the live stream is over. Let me know what you guys think. Ooh. Should I improve what I do or should I do more of a tutorial, mm. you know, show you guys how to do things or should I just go straight and just do the uh, straight to each side missions and stuff like that so that way you guys can know. Mm. Uh, by the way, in every stream that you have not seen yet but you're going to watch it, Ooh. I'm gonna put in the title uh, in the in the in the description. I'm gonna put in each description what I've done. So, for example, Varuda Shrine, or even though it's not a shrine, but or something something Shrine. Um, you'll get to see it on the bottom. And if you guys ever want to um, go to that specific spot, let me. Um, I'll, I'm gonna try to remember the times that I've, I've go to it or just look for it in specific uh -huh. times and then have that time you can click on it and go to that part so that way you guys can be like okay this is the shrine that I was looking for <sighs> all 
All right, so now that we have the magnesis, we can use these boxes before I mess with it. You see how this box is metal, but it kind of looks like it's beat up, like you can open it. And also, when you use a shrine or when you use the rune, you see how it's purple? That means that you're not, um, you're not in that moment to pick it up. So when you look at it, it turns yellow. You activate and it magnetizes it and then you can use it so in order for you to be able to destroy something like this you pick it up as high as possibly you can and you just let it go and it breaks roasted bass this is good for starting out because we can eat it and give ourselves hearts and then you can also use these runes for finding objects that you don't normally see like say there was a, there was a uh, treasure chest in the dirt and you couldn't see it if you activate your room see how it automatically glows it also shows that metal metal beam that's right there too I thought I was gonna get it so this metal beam could be used for something else let's see, let's grab this bring it to us kick that open opal these items could be used for a different kind of um, armor making armor stronger or selling in general or making monster elixirs and monster elixirs are basically something that gives you more enhancement versus versus regular elixirs i've never really got into the actual making monster elixir elixirs i just made the i just made the oops oh, i didn't want to use that uh, let's use a weakness here. Okay, key swing, key eyeball, and that's it. Okay, here we go. Right here. Remember, always get every herb, every fish, every kind of item that it's consumable to link. Always get it. And the reason why I say that is because, especially in Master Mode, you're probably going to need a lot of it. So I'm not too sure. You can also break these wooden your metal things if you have it high enough. You can break it one on top of the other. Let's see if I can do it on this rock. I know I could do it on top of one, two metal objects on top of each other. You can also break these with sledgehammers. You can also break these with axes. I mean, any 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 object that's heavy, you, any weapon that's heavy, you can destroy it. Okay, so since we are here, let let us grab this, which I have no idea what that is, and we can use it to go over here, go across, and get those uh, chests. And if they haven't changed anything with these chests, because we're in master mode. We're gonna get a fire and ice arrows. So now, let's put it down right. Okay, and right now we've got a pathway to go up. Five ice arrows, and this is gonna be fire. I got we got some um, little fireflies over there. I'm not going to really go for a lot of the bugs unless I really need them, but when I see them, I'll get them with a stealth suit because it takes a little bit of time to get the little bugs and sometimes they fly away randomly. Also, another secret, I don't know if you could do it, no, no, the grass is not long enough. I was going to say, I could show you how to get basically unlimited fairies, but it takes time to get a lot of fairies. Okay, so... <laughs> You can also get these dudes arms, and they're not that strong, but they do work. You can also pick them up, and then you can kick them. Let's see. They're not very strong, but for being a beginner, they work. Already the arms are already broken? Oh, I'm going to be going through these things like crazy. So I gotta basically not really use my weapons much, and I always gotta scavenge a lot of them. I won't be going through. Let's see. What do I have to do again? Uh, what do I gotta do again? Gold 
Ryan explained that there are a total of four shrines on the budget. He said that he will give you a paraglider once you accept the spirit orb from all the shrines. Okay. The old man. The next spot we can go to is going to be over here. We're going to need to get the warm doublet. Basically armor that keeps you warm or the, uh, uh, the torso chest piece that allows you to stay warm when it's cold there are see like this you see the bug right there these guys if you're not slow enough they will fly off and you will not get it you can use these little creatures for look at he's over there too bad i can't see over this hill to see if he was still there in that spot oh wait i can't oh, no. damn Well, anyways, uh, like these mushrooms, these shrooms. Make sure you uh, always pick them up, find them, kill your kill your surroundings, so you can get meat, raw bird drumstick. Also, if you ever find, of course, fishes. I don't know you made noise. If you find fishes, okay, see, like acorns. They're usually not far from the tree, and the reason why they're not far from the tree is because the little squirrels were there. So if you see them, pick them up, because you can use it for different things. I think you can make, like, bread in one of them. Look at there, they go. Little bastards. There's another pigeon. And... Bam. Fuck. That's some bullshit. I missed it. You can also pick up your arrows again. Also, boars. If you get boars, they provide pretty good quality of meat when you mix them with different with different um, food ingredients. I always try to. I always try to. Always try to go for the headshot. Because if you, if, you, if you notice, when you when you shot them, they made the ping. That means that uh, it was a successful kill in one shot. You don't always have to go for the boars. There's also deers. There's ostriches in this. Um, there's, there's quite a few animals in this game that you could siphon off the land. Uh, let's talk to this old man. Let's sneak up. And let's talk to him. Oh, well, well, well. Oh, oh. So we meet again. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Can you not see me? I'm hunting here. I, I, for some reason, I thought I said humping. I don't know why. You'll scare off my prey like that. At least crouch down a bit. I am crouch. Oh. What are you doing, Senpai? Mm. Got any tips? First, crouch down and approach your prey quietly and ensure that you're not oh. notice you. When, the close enough, when you're close enough in that... Detection is nearly imminent. Draw your bow and let your arrow fly. Aim thoughtfully, and you should be able to take down your prey with a single arrow. I'm rather tired. Yes, I think I'll be taking a small break. Okay, let's go over here. Let's grab some arrows, and there should be traveler's bow, some more arrows, a torch. No, I don't need a torch. Another torch. I don't need the other torch. Okay, so we're gonna switch to a different or a different weapon, which is gonna be a torch. Oh, oh. I'll run up to it and swing. That's it. So now you can either rest, um, not rest. Um, it looks like he's resting. I don't remember if you get hearts from it, but you could. If you sit, you can pass by the time, and if you want to make it, uh, let's say you're it's in the morning, you can make it noon if you wanted to, or night. You can use either ones. Here, you could make food. So, let me talk to him really quick. Ooh. This is Becca saying, I clearly need to take a little break. Say a courageous one. Are you hungry? If so, please feel free to reuse my cooking pot to level up a snack. If you need to start a fire, just light your torch in that and not campfire over there. Got any tips? Simply open your inventory, grab a hold of your ingredients, and toss them in. Try to consider how other ingredients will complement one another. If you pay your card right, you might end up even with a dish that can help protect you from the extreme cold. It's all about Ooh. being creative and trying different things. Okay, so I. Oh, I don't 
want to get too close. For example, if we want to try to make something, let's say I got two bass, so I'll use one meat and then say one apple and then one herb. We can make something like this, it'll come out fine, but if you put like multiple random things that don't mix well together, you're going to get something called dubious food which only gives you two hearts and they blur it out because it's supposed to look nasty and hideous and nobody should ever look at it kind of thing and that's um i really don't want to waste boy i'll get a bunch of wrestler restless crickets uh and let's do a jelly a jelly watch it's gonna be dubious food watch Oh, it didn't, it didn't start doing the baking process. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to get something like that. Okay, 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 okay. Let me do something here. Uh, let's try uh, ancient screw and apple. You'll probably hear things break. Watch. <laughs> That means it's dubious food. Uh, See, now that you have the little nasty looking thing right there. It's too gross even to look at. A bizarre smell issues forth from this heap. Eating it won't hurt you, though, probably. If if uh, Link would have the runs, I'm pretty sure it would be with something like that. Okay, so you can always do... You can always try different kind of... Different ways to make different kind of foods. Uh, you could select um, a bird, drumstick, and a raw meat together. And you could add like an apple and an acorn. And you'll get the acorn will give you nutty flavor. Herbs will give you an extra heart. Um, some flavor too. Uh, same thing with bass. But some things you put together, it's not going to work out. Okay, so the old man said that you need specific ingredients in order to... In order to make something uh, to make it warm I lost that one so I'm not gonna go for him to make you warm so that you're not um, you're not cold during the the mission when you go to the the little mountains that are close by oh. there we go there's my meat there's my so what I need to do now is I need to go mark I need to go mark the areas for my shrines so I know where I'm going See, I hate does anybody else have that problem with their switch anybody else have the problem with their switch where it, it like it's it locks up and then you gotta like shake it a little bit for it to move I have to do that to mine every time that I try to air it, but sometimes it just locks. Sometimes it locks. You'll see that when I'm trying to uh, aim it, it doesn't want to work for some reason. Oh, shit. Uh, they have buff. They have those. I don't care for these guys. Well, at least not right now. So, I don't remember where the, the other location where the old man's going to be. In order to make that, uh, the, the elixir that he's asking or saying that if you want to be warm even in the coldest temperatures, you would have to mix a certain ingredient. Uh, one is a fish, which a hard roll bass, a chili. And I don't remember what the other one is. Um, dang, I can't remember what the other one is. Territories. And I mean by that as I'm gonna go mark the shrines. 
so I could, I, so I can give myself a direction where I'm going. Uh, I don't know myself. Let's go. This sucks to have this kind of stamina. One thing I'm gonna go do is do the hearts and stamina and all that, or just stick with, uh, stick with three hearts and. Um, just stamina wheels and stuff. Yeah, I know it takes the fun out of the game if you just get it really quick by doing glitches, but I mean, why not? I haven't really, really beat the game, but all I gotta say is that you no, know, doing glitches is fun. And don't get me wrong, it sucks to do it because it takes the fun out of it, of course. Um, but when I was still playing, it still provided a challenge. When I did the Master Sword trial, I had all hearts and all stamina wheel. That shit was still hard. I was like, damn, son. Are you sure they say Master Mode yet? Jeez. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, but Master Mode was pretty hard. Uh, the first one took me, the first part of it took me maybe three tries. I got used to that one, and I started um, telling myself, okay, you need to start paying attention, dude, because I don't want to keep doing this over and over. So then, Master Mode, um, oh, no, Master Mode, okay, so we need a mark, we need to go that one, see, he was moving on his own, uh, so which other one do we need to go to? Oh, man, that one right over there. Okay, um, as I was saying before, I can't remember what I was saying. Yeah, I totally forgot what I was saying. Oh, like glitches and stuff like that. I mean, I mean, why not? I mean, the game still provides challenges, and I would say in Master Mode, it would benefit more for us to get the hearts and stamina ahead of time, because I think as you progress more and more into the game, they make the, the creatures harder, so they give them more life and more hit points. And also depends on what weapons and stuff like that you use. Okay, so I'm gonna go for this one first because the other one's gonna take a little bit longer and I, I need to try to remember where I can get the chilies from. I might, sometimes I might look up, um, what do you call it, um, little guides here and there to make sure everything, or make sure I'm not forgetting how to get to a specific spot. Hello, Mr. Guardian. Oh, here we get our, our bombs. There are two bombs. Oh, maybe we can get fairies. Oh, I don't think we can get fairies here. We can, there's, there's crickets here. You can basically get unlimited crickets here. We already saw one just fly by right now. Let's see if I can get another one here. I heard another one scamper off. Got him. You gotta be quick with those guys. Unless you have the stealth, the ninja stealth suit, then you can literally walk right up to them and they won't fly until you're like right, standing right in front of them or to the side of them and then they'll fly away. For those of you who are starting this live stream, I'm gonna be playing this for like maybe about an hour or two hours. I don't know how long I've been streaming for. Okay, exactly one hour. Uh, what I probably ended up doing is getting all three shrines and then get to the plateau. And then from there, I'm going to probably call it. Um, by the time I probably get there, it's probably going to be already two hours. I actually have to go to work. Actually, I should have already been at work. But anyways... Um, I should have been at work. It's a laundromat, and I go there when it's actually needed, not like, hey, you need to be there now at a specific time. But anyways, um, 
what I've ended up doing is I'll do it all three shrines. So excuse me if I sometimes become kind of silent. I'm just trying to focus. I'm trying to focus in the game. Let's see. Somebody subscribe to me. I also have my stream on one of the Zelda. Um, if you if you guys really like Zelda like I do, and you guys have a Facebook, go to a go to your search bar in Facebook and type in Zelda Fanatics uh, Tips, Tricks, and Discussion. That's a pretty cool uh, group. There's a lot of cool people there. There's a lot of people barely learning how to do things. Uh, people sometimes post up pictures, videos of people doing all kinds of random stuff. I actually found one where the guy is, uh, someone is um, playing with the guardian, and he uses his ice block, which is another skill or rune that you skill and rune that you would get. He he lifts up or he shoots the eye of the guardian, and and paralyzes it for a moment, and the guardian kind of gets confused and spins his head a little bit. And he, he I don't I don't know how it works exactly, but he lifts it up off the ground with the ice and then it flips into the air like really high and then it falls right back down and he did it again and then went like really high and I was laughing so hard. I've never laughed so hard while watching someone's video for Breath of the Wild. When the, the, the garden was coming down, it's not programmed to come down the hill just like using its tentacles to, you know, like kind of like our feet when you're on a hill. Your body leans upwards, but your feet are kind of like still flat with the land. This one just started walking down and started tumbling and landing. <laughs> it was so funny to me. I I thought that was incredibly hilarious. I was, I was literally busting up. I was just laughing so hard. I thought that was so funny. But you'll probably see it there if you guys went to go uh, join the the um that the, the group and uh christy ray cox if you're watching this thank you i appreciate it i'll look at your channel too if you have if you have something on if you have a channel just post it below and i'll subscribe to you as well okay so now we got our bombs so you got two different kind of bombs you got the round bombs where you can just toss and then it'll explode and then you got this um that that bomb will basically roll downhill so of course it's perfectly round so for example just do that it's gonna roll down and of course we're gonna blow it up and then we also got the square bombs which is it doesn't really move anywhere unless you put it like at a at a like a slopey hill or whatever <clears throat> then it might have a chance of rolling down if it had enough gravity to it so if we put it right here it'll just stop yeah it won't move I'll see like how I moved it right there but it basically there's our stationary and those won't go anywhere. Another wall over here. When I when I started playing this about maybe a few weeks ago, a month ago, again for the second for the second time. For the second time I um I sound like it's still on surround sound for some reason. I actually got, I was too close to the blast radius, radius, ra radius, and <laughs> I killed myself, so I had to do this again. Uh, I'm going to use these buckle clubs first. Now the benefits of using the round one, you can toss it and it will roll and then it will get to the blocks, or get to the blocks that, or whatever you're trying to destroy or kill. And, uh, um, it will go as far as it can possibly go with, of course, physics. Um, I made the mistake of one time tossing something, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna die, I'm not gonna eat anything, I'm cool, whatever. So I tossed it, and I forgot it was the square bomb, and I didn't pay attention to it, it being the square bomb. And it didn't, I'm thinking I thought it was going to roll off and I just pushed the bun, uh, bomb blast, as soon, or the bo explode the bomb as soon as it landed and it was in the radius and I killed myself and I had to start all over, which probably was about maybe 5-10 minutes of gameplay. So I was kind of a little irritated. <laughs> now, the square bomb will not go in here. 
why I want to go in there? Because it's square. Now we need a round one. Put this in here, let it roll down. We toss it, launch it, and explode it. We don't need to do anything over there. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, we can go get the box that's over here. Little treasure chest. Little baby treasury. Lunch me. Yes. I've got the number. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's move on to this because we already got the treasure chest and this shrine. skip all this um, guys again um, please let me know that if if my stream doesn't look good uh, needs higher quality let me know so that way I could um, adjust some settings because <clears throat> right now it's saying that it's at 360p quality is the max and I'm hoping that's not the the um, what it's actually showing because I have a window open on my left monitor, which is my main monitor. The monitor, the TV that I have now, it's a 40 inch, but I usually use that for my computer. And the left monitor over here is for like OBS or Elgato Game Capture uh, and everything else. Since I have the switch connected to it, I have to uh, send one cable um, out from the switch to the Elgato capture card, and then the other the other connection goes to the TV. So that's what I'm going to be um, seeing on my main display. <clears throat> what I'll probably be ending up doing is um, probably getting another monitor and setting up on the side and make it like, say, my web browser on this side and OBS on this side and my main monitor over here. But I don't have enough room on my space where I have my desk at because I have a... 32 inch monitor and then I have a 40 inch television as my main display and I can't fit nothing else because I have my monitor at, a, at an angle so I don't have them both like straight I would probably end up doing is building myself another little little desktop on the side and put my monitor on that side or find a way to mount it upward so when I look up I'll see my web browser up there maybe my chat on top if I get popular enough <clears throat> Anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, how long has it been? Uh, I've been live for one hour and 18 minutes. It's already 9.27. I have to leave at least 30 minutes from now, before 10 o'clock, because where I work at, alarm goes off at a specific time, and I want to leave before that time goes off. Because I don't want to wait and all that. Ah, let's see, what I have to do is I have to... Yep. What I have to do is I have to turn off the alarm, do my cleaning, and then turn my alarm on again, <clears throat> and then run out the door or, or run out the the back area, lock it up, run, and make sure both doors are closed, and then I'm done. And it's not it's it's tedious for me, but I just don't want to deal with it. Okay, so I don't remember. I know I'm gonna need the warm doublet. That's a fact. And... Ooh. I don't remember this. Hey! Nintendo Switch shirt! Yoth! Let's change it that bit. White nail. I actually never gotten that and the other one. Uh, I don't remember which Guardian turns on. I think it's... I think it's gonna be him. If it isn't him. I should not assume genders. Okay, where is my chili peppers at? I don't remember where my chili peppers at. Okay. I think the chili peppers if... Oh, shit. No, no, it's okay. You didn't see nothing. Go to sleep. To deal with these guys, and if you if you're in an area, if you're in an area that uh, that there's like literally no cover, and you're trying to get away from these, and you guys got an arrow, 
and a, and a bow and arrow, all you gotta do is shoot it right in its eye, and it will, it will, it will become dazed and confused, and then it'll give you time to run away. Um, you could parry their shield, their, their eye blast, their laser blast, uh, but you have to kind of get good at it. You have to know when to um, parry that attack. Look at, see? It just stopped working. See, it just stopped working randomly. I don't know why. I ran up on the online. They released like an update for the Joy, the Joy Cons, and just made everything go to shit. Like it, it sucks now. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see. I don't remember where to get the chili peppers at. I need to get the chili peppers. I just don't know where. Oh, cursed bee. Oh, and another cool thing what you guys can do is every time you see the, the beehive, shoot the beehive down and it attacks the bobokins. I think that's how, I think I'm saying it right. So I'm going to shoot it down and they're going to... And then, ah, oh God, save me. Someone save me. So what I'm ending up doing is I'm going to light a bat on fire. If I can. Ah, oh, shit. Get him, bees. Get him. Kick his ass. What I want to do is. Ah. Oh. Give me a shield. Oh, no. I destroyed it. Let's get another bat. So that was a one hit kill, and the reason why it was a one oh no, don't hit me. The reason why it's a one hit kill is because uh, I got a direct headshot. Coco Club. Okay. I see some sparky over here, some Pika Spikos. And by the way, Spika Spiko, if I remember correctly, is sparkly. Or sparkle in Japanese. Yes, I watch a lot of anime. I'm not afraid to, I'm not afraid to say hello, me some animal. Why do you think I keep saying senpai? Senpai is like teacher. Mushroom. You could use a, a mushroom like that. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm already here. This is where I needed to be. You can use mushrooms like these to make into dishes. And what that will do is, it, as it says in the name, it will give you the ability to run faster or become more silent, meaning be more like a ninja. And it will give you that ability temporarily for a moment. In that moment, so you say, for example, if I made, can I bring that? What's here? Okay, there's nothing here. Okay, uh, for that moment, I could be really fast, or I could um, uh, eat, make an elixir that makes me stronger, and meaning armor, and also stronger in hit points, more stamina, like the one I have right here. See the little gray, uh, green wheel. That's above the little bottle. See, okay, see where I'm moving at? So, you see right there on the top left corner, it shows you like a little round green wheel with an arrow pointing upwards. That means it will give me extra stamina when I drink it. And when I have an extra stamina, so when I my, stam my main stamina runs out, it will start using that extra stamina wheel uh, to keep me running. You can also use it for climbing and stuff like that. Okay, let's talk to this old guy and he's gonna tell us about some stuff. What are you doing? This body of mine isn't what it used to be. Recovering from a bout of hard work takes a while, meaning I farted it and hurt. <laughs> if you're hungry, I have an empty pot you can use to cook yourself a meal. I cook something. See this dubious shit. Let's take a look at what you cook up there, shall we? <clears throat> say, they say failure is stepping stone to success, right? 
Perhaps we're referring you to culinary shortcomings. <laughs> He's basically saying, you suck, bruh. I encourage you to experiment with some different ingredients and combinations. The variety of foods we can make out here in this wild is quite remarkable. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, ah. if, you're if you're moved by my wild culinary inspiration, feel free to cook yourself. Uh, got any tips? Uh, <laughs> cooking, capture your interest. And start to the... Okay, never mind. Okay, so if we go over here, we'll find... Oh, oh this is it right here. This is where I can get the spicy pepper, and I can get the dubious, or not the dubious, well, let's read this. On this desolate plateau, the only pleasure of bringing me is comfort is cooking. And today, I, I'll do myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I call it the spicy meat and seafood fry. The recipe not only restores health, but also keeps me warm, even when traveling in the snowy mountains. With this dish on my side, I no longer have what... What I no longer have need of that itchy warm to lit read more. I do not know how I allowed to do this. I do not know how I allowed to do this, how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forget write down a very important recipe. I don't contain raw meat and spicy pepper. However, I simply can't remember what else I used. My age is catching up to me. Read more. Sadly, the only lonely patio I have is my knowledge of memory to rely on still. If I did find someone who knew that missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm doublet. However, it seems like unlike, unlikely that such a miraculous wish will never be fulfilled. Stop reading because that's the end of it. Grab some spicy pepper. And that other ingredient, it's going to be Harul Bass. <clears throat> I am going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to pick this up. And and links um, crack addition to break jars in Ocarina of Time has not disappeared from his bloodline. He still has to crack a jar or two. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, in, in uh, Ocarina of Time for Nintendo 64, you could, uh, there was a room that had all kinds of jars in them and they had all kinds of money and this is how you could grab some uh, rupees. This is how, this is one way you could grab rupees. And what we did was, I think you would, um, I don't remember if you walked out or made the day pass by and you walk back into the door, you, uh, you walk out after breaking all the, uh, all the jars and then you walk out, either it's going somewhere else or making the day pass by and coming back in to that uh, to that little shop and destroy everything and you get unlimited uh, rupees. You just got to keep doing it over and over and over. Okay, so what he's asking is he wants that recipe. So we're going to hold uh, one of these chilies and then we're going to get some meat and some haro bass. I'll toss it into this pot. And it's going to be basically called spicy something. I don't remember. <laughs> spicy meat and seafood fry. There it is. So we talk to this. And then this is where it says I cook something. He's going to see it. And then he sees it. And like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, that looks just like my signature perfect dish. Spicy meat and seafood fry. Mm. But how did you... Well, I suppose that is not important. Can I trouble you to share the recipe? Ooh. Ah, of course. Harul Bass. How could I have forgotten? Ooh. Well done. Now please allow me to reward you with calling your efforts with this warm doulette. <laughs> warm doulette. A, war, a warm pullover typically worn by a mountain folk. It is sturdy fabric and thick gloves are great for retaining body heat. And it also keeps old men stank from the last person who weared it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> with that, you'll be able to resist the bite of colder environments. As for me, I know a great spicy meat seafood fry recipe, so I can do it without the warm doublet. Now, since we already have this warm doublet, uh, I don't need that right now. So that's just basically you can use to be on rafts and stuff like that. All these were all the uh, the other guys are at. Oh, I can actually go that way. So. I'm gonna get rid of this dude right here. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna sneak snock my way over here. 
And then... I'm gonna try to kill this guy in one shot using this arm. Hoping he doesn't wake up. Little, little snot bubbles is coming out of him. It's straight up like anime. I love uh, the Japanese tradition ways of making things funny, um, making different characters, making things awesome. It's just, I love it. It's so cool. Look at those snot bubbles. <laughs> the breathing and all that. Okay, now. One down, two more to go. And one more to go. You know, I remember when I was first playing this game. Oh, there's another, um, okay, one, another one of those. Grab this meat. It's a very good meat. And then we want to light our arrow on fire. And then we want to shoot this right over there. Okay, I remember. I don't know if it's Skyward Sword or if it was this game. But I do remember. I do remember. I do remember the. Um, Goodbye, little guys. Little guys. I remember. I don't know if it's this game or another game. I feel like it's gonna either be Skyward Sword or this one. You could jump. Uh, you can run and jump, or jump from a specific, like a cliff or something. And you can land and strike them right into the chest in one hit. It doesn't matter how much life they have. It's a one-hit kill. And it's it's the Bubblekins or how, however their whatever their names are. Do I need anything else? I'll grab another shield. And what about my... Oh, it's just the basic stuff. Okay, I don't need that. And this is why I said... Always leave your item... Oh, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, leave your items... That are meant for that specific task. Like, example, these boxes. You can cut them down. Uh, with uh, with a woodcutter axe, and then when you get the sledgehammer, the sledgehammer will basically break stones and like. Um, I don't think I've ever broken a. Oh, I don't think I've ever broken a wall like a wall that's like right in. Um, you know what? A wall. You know the bombs. You can toss a bomb and it, and it has like cracks and you can blow it up. I don't, I don't think I don't think you can destroy the walls with the sledgehammer. I'm going to get rid of this one because it's already damaged and I'm going to grab that spear because I like spears. They're awesome. They have a long reach so you're not really that close in combat. Okay, so by the way, I have the Nintendo Switch um, shirt. I got it over there by the the shrine of um, the bomb shrine. And this is, the, this is another reason why... I'm going to tell you to keep your woodcutter axe and sledgehammers for their specific task. Is one, to cut down trees, get their fruits, and get wood from it. Or, and two, to cut down trees and clear a path. I'll show you right now. Okay, so if you guys don't have this woodcutter axe... There is an axe over there where the old man is at. I'm not going to spoil it who that old man is because some people have not played this game. But to this day, people are still buying the, uh, the Breath of the Wild game. You can also get tree branches. So let's put this away, otherwise we're going to fall to our death. No. Nope. Come on, get up. Uh, stop moving, controller. Oh my god, you pissed me off. Okay, I see we got some fireflies over here. Let's try to be sneaky. Get some fireflies while we're at it. Sunset firefly. It seems like the stream keeps uh, turning off, right? Like it, it keeps rebuffering itself. I'm not looking for that. And it kind of sucks that it keeps happening. Oh, this tree has a lot of shit. 
There goes a lizard. Damn. Okay, so another thing is if you guys want to use your arrows to. Um, wait, 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 wait. If you guys want to use your arrows or, uh, specifically in a fight and you don't have like weapons or anything like that other than your arrows, your bow and arrow and all that, uh, you could. You could um, get up on a rock, target one of your enemies, or use your shield, and then flip backwards. These little shits are let me. Jeez, man, these guys are so much faster than before. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Watch, 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 watch. So there we go. You flip. So now I killed them both. I don't know how much that spe damage that spear does, and I don't want to find out uh, how much uh, how much damage does a spear do. Oh no, my woodcutter axe. Five, two. Um, I just dropped this woodcutter axe. So that takes that takes more damage, or that that just the durability of that woodcutter. If you're not using it what it's meant for, you will degrade its, um, how would I say it, it's, you would degrade its, its durability, and, I mean, you could if you wanted to, I mean, you can find them, not as often as you want to find them, but you can find them in certain areas, but what if you want to cut a tree down, or you would, during a mission, say, you need to get, like, I don't know, 120 log pieces that you gotta constantly chop down. What are you gonna do? Use all your weapons to chop it down? I mean, you could, but what are you gonna do when you come across the monster? You got no more weapons. You can't chop down a tree with an arrow. Now, you know, that'd be really cool. You can actually shoot a bunch of arrows into the tree and make those marks, and, and you could cut down a, a tree, but that would take a really long time to do. Oh, shit, I should have saved it before I went up there. Ah, uh, oh, I shouldn't have jumped. Let's do this over. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a shortcut. You know what? I'm not gonna do it. There's a shrine up there, and I'm not gonna go for that shrine. I'm gonna go directly where I need to go. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warp there by going to my map and. Oh, wait a minute. It's bombs, my muses. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Never mind. I was thinking something. I was like, wait a minute. I don't remember going to three shrines, but... Let's see if I went to three shrines. Wait, no, I did it. I went to the first one, which is the bombs, and then I got... No, the first one was Magnesis, the bombs. Where's the other shrine? I don't remember going into the shrine. Did I activate it and not walk into it? Oh, it's this place. Okay. No worries. Okay, so what will be my fastest route? So I'm going to go... I'm going to run out this way. Oh, and by the way, for those of you who are looking for the... <laughs> Rock seeds. When you come back here after, um, when you're trying to find one, there is one inside where Link was at, uh, where he was sleeping, where he was sleeping beauty. There is a Korok in there, so you can grab it. I didn't even know there was one in there. I never needed to go back because I didn't have the DLC uh, way back then. Uh, can I? Can I get this torn down? Okay. Now we are down. And let's toss this. Oops. I didn't do that. 
Stop. I was getting confused for my hunger was not blowing up. I remember you need to have that item specifically to it in order for you to do that. Alright, so let me see if I could get some fairies right now. I don't think so. I think I have to be on the, the bottom platform. Alright, I need to hurry up. Blue nightshade. I hear the I hear the little piggies up there. I'm gonna annoy them. Oh, and in, in this area, there's quite a few uh, Korok seeds that you can get. Uh, for those of you who are who are just joining or have joined before, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to um, do some of the glitches, you know, little tips and tricks. If you're barely just playing this game, where to find specific things and what to do when you're in this kind of situation. Yes, I am in Master Mode. I've never played Master Mode before and I've heard that there are quite a few new monsters in this. And it's a lot more difficult to get things done. Okay, so things like this, what you want to do... So, I am going to light my arrow on fire. Oh, shit! And I died. Figures. Oh well. Let's just continue. I knew I was gonna. I don't. I don't know why I did that. I saw the fire. I saw the those bushes, and I still. I still did it. I'm an idiot. But whatever. I hope I'm not too far from this. I think I'm gonna be pretty far. Damn. I actually have to hurry up and go. Uh, let me do this. I don't have time for that. So, what I was going to do, what I was going to show you guys is... I was going to show you since I'm not... Come on, move! fire spread all the way out there. I love that. I love the I love things like that, like physics and stuff like that when, when that happens. Okay, let me get this to chest and we're gonna head directly to that other shrine. And uh, uh, as I was saying for those of you who have just started this game and haven't played it before uh, <laughs> I was gonna use my paraglider but I don't have my paraglider. Um, there's a few things that you need to do in order to get to these shrines. I've already got to two main shrines already, and there's one part that people don't really quite get in the beginning. Uh, you have to talk to the old man, and the old man asks you to, um, or he read his diary, and you find out that there's a recipe that makes you warm, even in the coldest, coldest temperature. And with those coldest temperatures, <clears throat> uh, you'll stay warm, and you can do like missions without having to freeze your nuts off. Or <laughs> freeze your butt off. Uh, Alright, we are pretty close to the other mission. All I gotta just keep going. Yeah, I could have used that to kill the monsters, but it's alright. I'd just rather keep going. Because, as I said, I gotta hurry up and go to the laundry. My, uh, my job. Always give yourself room for stamina, and don't always jump for your your um, your 
your spots because you'll run out of stamina, you'll fall downwards, and of course you're going to um, start all the way from the beginning or probably fall, probably fall to your death. If you guys want to see me play more of this today, I don't mind doing it after I come back from work, but I just need to be, uh, I just need to, I need you guys to let me know ahead of time. Like, say, I'll, once I get that shrine, let me know within, like, say, half an hour, and if I have, like, five people saying, hey, can you keep playing, or can you keep going? See, now, I see how it says how the temperature is too low? Look on the bottom right corner where your map is at. You see how it says F, and he's flashing? That means Link can possibly die because he's too cold, and uh, his heart will keep um, depleting until he's dead. So this is what the warm dublet is for, so now he's no longer cold. Uh, so now what we're going to do is... Sorry, sorry, Link. I'm sorry. No! Ah! The water's too cold and he died. Damn! I slipped. I didn't know I was going to slip completely off of that. That's so dumb. I keep forgetting the ice is slippery and stuff like that. And I usually go the other way. Okay, good. I'm still here. I usually go on that side. I climb up the hill because I like to... Usually, I like to go all the way around. We're probably end up saying at one point or another, why don't you send your your controllers back to uh, Nintendo so that they could fix them or refurbish them or give them brand new or whatever. I don't want to have to go through all that because I play my Switch almost every single day and I play a couple of hours. And I don't want to have to wait for it. But what I probably end up doing is getting the Pro Controller. Oh, This is, this is irritating. This is some things like that. It's really stupid because you have to be so precise. Because if you're not precise, you'll mess up. It's not going to happen again. Uh, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go around. I am going to go all the way straight. And plus there's something over there I just remembered. There is a box way over here on this side. I'm not going to do that anymore. That's, that's just ridiculous. I'll come back to that later. I would really like to go that way, but no. I can do it again. And also, you guys can get uh, Guardian parts from this if you just search it. And you sometimes, if you go all the way around them, you get a bunch of other parts. But that's what I'm going to... Uh, see, there, there it is. Right there. Or is that me just jumping down? Uh, anyway, there are there's a way for you to get unlimited H and screws and so on, like and so on. And when you get unlimited screws, when you get unlimited a bunch of other things, uh, you... You can get a bunch of, uh, basically, unlimited, uh... You can get unlimited little screws, and those, basically, you could sell them for a really high price. Depending which ones you get, because there's a lot of them that are worth a lot, and there's a lot of them that are worth, or called ancient cores. And those ancient cores are worth a lot, I think, like, anywhere between 50, 60, or something like that, rupees. 40 or, 40 through 60 rupees. And if you sell them, you could make thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, or thousands of rupees. And you can use it, to, like say, for example, you can buy your own house. Yes, you can buy a house. Uh, you can buy the upgrades for them. Damn. You buy the upgrades. Well, I was going to shoot them because they have the little other tree nuts. I don't remember what they're called exactly. Um, 
can't remember the name. I have, I see it. I can see the title, but I can't see the word itself when I close my eyes. <sighs> okay. I'll grab all this wood. And then what I need to do is I need to get rid of... I'm not actually I'm fine. I was going to get Korok Leaf. And then grab that seared steak. I put this away and use Boko Club. Okay, so now what we need to do is lay it. To cut down so I need a Oh shit. No. I cut it the wrong way. Damn it. Let's see there's another hatch right here. Oops. Okay, that's what I want. Just to make sure I don't have to go run all the way back. Don't. I have a feeling this is not going to go well. Oh, look at a chest. Oh, wait a minute. You know what I think I can do? Let's see. Let me try. You can also move objects. There we go. That's not what I have planned. I've never done this before for this particular part. We need that Korok, uh, that Korok, uh, uh, the Korok leaf is because we need to do this. Pretty cool use of the Korok, right? Because it was used in the uh, Wind Waker series, which is one of my favorite games. Um, you get to use it as a leaf, kind of like the paraglider, or you get to use it. You kind of use it. You kind of use it like a paraglider in that one, so you you would fly downwards exactly the same way. I'm so glad they kept that uh, mechanic because that was so good when I played it. Okay, see that that's good shit. For now it is. Twelve. Fire arrows, it's always good to have one. Uh, let's see, we're gonna get rid of this. Fire arrows. <clears throat> now we gotta 
keep moving on over here. And once I get to that temple, I'm not the temple, uh, to the shrine, it's basically a temple. Those jujus, uh, the little blue jujus, you can use them for a different kind of, uh, why do I keep saying um, You can use them for different kind of recipes to give you a different effect. Like say, for example, you could use it for a cooling effect or you can use it to dye your clothes because it is that color. So for example, that's a blue or white. You could use that specifically for, uh, <laughs> can use that for um, dyeing your clothing. Um, I can't remember other recipes you could use that for. I don't need this leaf anymore, so what I'm going to do is drop that. I just a uh, friendly reminder, I want to let you guys know that I am going to be doing tips, tricks, and um, other things. For example, I'm going to be... I'm basically going to be uh, showing you how to do glitches, for those of you who don't know how to do it. Yeah, everyone's a gaming experience, but it's also cool to do. and tricks, um, how to deal with certain kind of objects or creatures and stuff like that, um, where to go to next if I remember correctly, and it seems like my stream is way behind, it's not even live, it's not even in that moment anymore, that's weird. I just, I just realized that, that that explosion is the exact same explosion from Wind Waker. That's a hell of, that's, that's, that's funny. I just realized that explosion was from Wind Waker, the sound. That... Alright, so again, this is going to be the last, this is going to be the last um, mission that, or the last shrine that I'm going to do, and then I'm going to call it quits after that. The reason why I'm going to call it quits is because... I've already been playing for two hours, and I need to go to work uh, before the the alarm go, turns on in the next 15-20 minutes, and I have quite a f stuff to clean. And I don't want to be too long, but again, if you guys really would like me to play today, let me know within the time I finished. Let me know ahead of time. Like, say, hey, man, yeah, go repeat it. Even one or two people, that's perfectly fine. I'll still do it. If not, I'm going to try to play every single day between 5 to 6 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. And if you guys want to catch me in that moment, you know, just go ahead and um, uh, see if you want to or whatever. Uh, make sure you, uh, if you're in a different time zone than I am, make sure you find out what uh, time is uh, Pacific, Pacific Time to your time. So this is Crynosis. Basically what it does, it freezes water and stuff like that. Just basically water. Nothing else. You rarely use this uh, to get specific stuff. Like, for example, you'll use it in this. You'll use it on something like this, but you can also use it like to open up doors and stuff like that, which they'll be showing you here. Guts. Ancient gear. Oh, 
traveler spare. Nice. I can always use more more weapons, even though it's crap. There's any other boxes here? Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys watching my stream. For now, um, we're gonna. Uh, this was the two-hour uh, play live let's play. For those of you who are not familiar with me, my name is Chito uh, Pachito, and I do have a YouTube channel, which is what I have now. Uh, if you guys can. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe this channel that helps me out. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to let you know when I upload a new video or when I will start streaming. Ahead of time, I will be scheduling a stream so you guys can know when I'm going to be streaming. So, say for example, if let's say I'm going to get to it at 6 o'clock and going to get to 5, but I will let you guys know ahead of time. When I will have it done in that moment, and if I don't have done, if I don't have it in that moment, I'll try to let you guys know some way, somehow, either through, uh, either through, like some kind of chat that you're allowed to talk to people. I don't know how people do it still, but you know, there's sometimes where you can type something in and it'll say, "Hey guys, I'm not going to be uploading for another." day or two or something like that i'm, I'm going to try to figure that out because I, I still don't know how to figure that out unless i need to be a subscriber of a thousand in order to uh, unlock that feature all right guys again my name is Panchito, and i appreciate you guys watching and um, if you guys have any comments questions um, or concerns or any different ways of changing my gameplay um, what not to talk about what to talk about um, just you know i'm all ears for what you guys want to share to me, okay? And I'm trying to make this channel um, an actual fan channel, not just for myself. Because in the in the future, when I have quite a few thousand subscribers, if I get a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna try my best to provide you guys with gifts. Because a lot of YouTube subscribers do not do that. But I want to put that money and the views towards you guys, so that you guys could win prizes and stuff like that. Because I make decent money. I don't make a lot of money, but I do make decent money. And I want to use that YouTube money to help you guys out. Like, say you need $100, I can help you guys with $100 with the gift card or whatever. Or if you guys want to, say, a graphics card or a new TV, I can send it to you guys if I start making decent amount of money. And that's going to be for you guys, too. I might dip in it once or twice, but, I mean, whatever. Anyways, again, my name is Panchito, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.